Just checking. Hiya. So, welcome back. We are on Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for our book reviews. So, I'm going to start doing this a bit differently. As you can see, my layout of filming is different as well. I have installed a new um, screen record recorder on my phone. So, I can do this a bit more easy. And it also makes it that the camera is not rattling about all the time. Because it's recording it off the screen instead of me recording a screen. And yeah, so I hope you like this new format of recording. So yeah, today we're doing Prisoner, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is probably one of my most favouritest like, stories so far of the Harry Potter series. Um, so let's jump right into it. Everyone knows that J.K. Rowling wrote the books and this is the third book of the season. Straight after Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So new layout I'm going to be doing. So here we are. I just wanted to jump right into it. The um, thing is about the book, I enjoyed the layout of the book. The way J.K. Rowling wrote wrote it, it made it, the story very easy to follow. There wasn't any jumping around, making the story messy. And so it was easy to understand, I found. Um, she explained a lot of things that she, what she had created sort of into the book, such as the time turner. She did... Oh, <laughs> That, I hope that did not show up properly. Um, <laughs> such as the time turner in the book. So she explained that very easily for people to understand. And so yeah. I enjoyed how it always starts off around the same time Harry has his birthday. So you get to see him age as the as it progresses. Each story progresses, you see him age. And you get to see him progress. It's like seeing it in front of your own eyes as you read on through the books with each book you learn new things about the wizarding world how harry is from the such as in this book you learn about the night bus shapeshifters and about the werewolves jk rowling did an amazing and easy way of time travel in this book as everyone knows as i've just mentioned previously about the time turner and how hermione used it and how it gained her more time to make gain more classes to gain more knowledge and i found it's like she didn't have to add that into the book she could have came up with a completely different way of of how that happened but she did she put her time and effort into the book to create this whole new thing we hadn't heard of something that's what well, is her idea and i love it how in fictional books like this, fantasy books I mean, fantasy books, is that the writers, they come up with all these new concepts that don't exist and do you know how hard that is? Creating this brand new thing, it's like creating a brand new creature. You, This, per this reader has n doesn't know anything about this creature because it's not heard of and they have to put so much detail into that new creature so the reader can get a clear picture in their mind to understand what that 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 creature looks like or that object the time turner looks like or how it works it's a really hard job to do and it's if you get it right the description right and everything that people can actually picture in their heads in their minds like it's in front of them that's when you know you've done a good job in the book you learn about you you learn about the class the class about um oh I'm sorry my head's gone blank hypography I think it's called it anyway it's the, the class where they say you can look into a teacup and see through the tea leaves about what if what's going to happen for you in the future or you can read the stars and it tells you such and such or well, anyway, and with the teacher who teaches this class, keeps predicting Harry's death and sees death always around Harry. Harry gets to ex get to experience time in the Wizarding World while staying at the Leaky Cauldron on his own. I was amazed to learn he's only 14 in this book because in the movie, Daniel Radcliffe looks so much older. Because I remember watching this movie so much and I 
don't know. I know that he mentioned his birthday in the movie, but for me, I just never really caught on. He was only 14. And if I think back to myself, when I was only 14, the stuff he's doing is amazing. <laughs> like, seriously, I couldn't believe it. Um, and the whole part about I enjoyed is that you got to read about Harry actually getting to experience on his own the wizarding world. And it's very unheard of because he's rather he's rather in hot in Hulk made by with his friends or he's well he's um in you know Hogwarts with his friends. So actually getting to experience watching him do it on his own was completely different. And I say bravo to that. Well, the thing is, and also, everyone is panicked and trying to keep Harry safe. So, as as they as they called dead, oh sorry, as this prisoner, as prisoner Raskaban, um, has escaped from, um, oh, Raskaban <laughs> is called Sirius Black. Sirius Black is on the loose, and the thing is, people are scared. Because of a story you will learn in the book if you have not read it yet. And if you have, you know what I'm talking about. And the thing is, people are scared because of what Black did. And the thing is, you get to learn further in the book that some other things. I'm not doing a spoilers, so I'm not saying. But anyway, I thought this, this part of the story was well put together. It was very creative of bringing a whole new part of the wizarding world into the books and how jk rowling wrote it definitely got you got to see the picture in your mind the thing is this book this book specifically like i know the other two books were amazing and everything but this book specifically was full of so many emotions and bumpy roads twists and turns it make it would make anyone feel slightly travel sick I read it in 24 hours and definitely felt a little bit dizzy after reading so much at once. But this book was amazing and I couldn't put it down because every second it was like, oh, I need to find out what happens. I need to find what happens. And I love it when a book does that to you. It's crazy, but it's great. So I would definitely recommend this book to anyone else. If you've just read the second Harry Potter book, go on to the third one, definitely. And if you haven't even started reading Harry Potter series, I would definitely say go ahead. It's definitely a bit harder once you get on it further into the books because you've got more pages to read. But I would definitely recommend to anyone. So yeah, give it a read. And I would give it a 5 out of 5 stars, of course, because it's Harry Potter. And yeah, okay, thank you for listening. And I hope you come back for more book reviews. We've got a few book reviews coming up very soon. And thank you. Bye.